Mm. Well, I don't know. I was like, I don't know what your schools were like, but um, my school that I went to, um, uh, it was. <laughs> my experience is different because I went to like a bone school, um, a private one in, in Dalston, in England, in Carlisle. Um, and yeah, my experiences of school is like different. Um, I remember um, one time. It was when I was in year eleven. Um, it was towards the end of the year, and um, basically what happened was um, I remember like when I first went to. Um, Limehouse. Um, a former pupil was there, and he was later on leave the school, and um, it just so happened, and well, the latter part of um, year eleven, um, he was found hung, and um, basically the next day, um, <laughs> the next school week. It was just a case of, oh, have you heard what happened? Have you heard what happened? And I felt even teachers took part in this. So it was a case of, like, mentioning the person's name. And, um, oh, how did, he, how, how did he die? How did he pass away? And I don't know, the teachers would just say it as though, well, it was just, it was just nothing. As though there was no, like, attachment to anything. As though, I don't know, and the whole theme for that, throughout the rest of the week or even the day it's just kind of like oh it's like oh it happened so there was no like respect there was no there was no cautiousness when you're speaking it's just oh someone has just died but you don't actually care and I don't know I found I found that hard to deal with at my school but that, that that's not the reason why my school was so bad it's like there was other issues as well as well as like Suicide themes are going around. There was like, you're telling people who's actually causing bodily harm to you as well. Um, harming people. Like, I remember, like, I remember, like, people was leaving bruises on me, and I was a prefect. And you think I'd be in some kind of, like, authority to do something about any bullying or any situations or like any harm that people are coming to, I have no power. It's like, because although that I could like sanction like punishments or try and make it, I, I always had the hierarchy that I had to go to. And the hierarchy usually being like staff. And I found like a lot of the time people were just dismissive of events and of like, or didn't want to get involved in certain situations. And like you talking about people harming, it wasn't just like it wasn't just myself, but I was just talking about other peoples. Like females, for example. Females like getting like punched and like leaving bruises on their body and stuff like that. And it wasn't just like an isolated event. These events happened like quite a lot. Like I would say probably Throughout my like five years there, but um, particularly towards the end, it came more like apparent. But I mean, I don't know. It's like you would also like, you would also be threatened with knives. So the the school had a knife culture as well. Knives would be found in the corridors. So I would like go staff day and I found like knives in the corridors. And okay, you might need knives for like things like Duke of Edinburgh and stuff like that. But um. I don't know, it's like, I was even threatened at knife point, I've, I've actually had like, I was even like, actually had a knife held against me, and like, held towards me, and held at me, <laughs> and, I don't know, and like, I would go, and I would go, and, but, I don't know, it's just people just like, ignore your concerns, particularly the staff, they just don't want to know, they don't want to get involved. And okay, some people may have issues that you want to carry knives into school, but 
I don't see how that like when there's a possibility that I could come on to harm other peoples, then I don't see how someone cannot act on that situation. I remember even like a year and eight, which in this case is like in Scotland it's the second it's the first year of secondary school. A year eight was expelled from bringing the knife. And basically, he says what happened, well, it was to get a fellow pupil, and he got expelled for it straight away. And it just seemed kind of cross to double standards, how, like, some people that apparently, or oh, well, you'd think they'd be well behaved, but because they bring up one instance, they get expelled, whereas other people who are automatically troubled just seem to, like, abuse the authority and the trust of others which later affects other people. It just came onto a temptation in the end where like people get intimidated, you actually be afraid to go to school because you don't go to school expecting to be intimidated or abused. Um, I don't know, in other cases it would be bricks through the window. I remember a brick was chucked through my window of my history class and the next day I'm sitting in history class and like I'm not even moved to a second in our history class or in our classroom. I have to do my history lesson with broken glass all over the floor and everything. In other instances, ex pupils would be again expelled. The the ex pupils be coming in and assaulting other pupils, so the police coming in, breaking it up and everything, arresting people, ex pupils. Of course, this be in front of line of everyone at school. So, in other cases, graffiti. Well, that happens everywhere. Teachers turn up late was a culture in my school. Very rarely, well, saying very rarely, they did turn up on time, but frequently they would turn up late, and it doesn't set a good standard for everyone else. People would say, people would be like leaving classes because teachers be like afraid to kick out people because they think they've got no power to do so. You talk about anti-bullying methods, the anti-bullying was actually never enforced at school. And reset classes, it's like, I don't know, the whole point of reset classes at my school is illogical. It's like, they would think, we'll just put you in the class below, whether the specification at the time would like, match the one that you're doing or not, even if it didn't and the subject was no use to you, you still had to go in the class below and when you point this out to teachers, it, they don't want to know. That's the kind of people are. And even sport, it was like a throwback to the 1920s. It was actually shocking. In terms of learning sport and helping with dyslexia, it was a dyslexia specialised school, specialised in dyslexia that I went to. I found out later on there was only two dyslexia teachers that actually trained in dyslexia. And like one of them, like these learn support sessions, like um, in my experiences, nothing happened. We would do like homework from the previous night. In other cases, we get fed, we get food on lessons. But yeah, um, that's my school. So I don't know what your experience was like.